And we are back with King of the Castle. I'm here with hey. I'm here with Shazam, Jackson, Jackson, and Andy. Two Jacksons. Uh, but yeah, so this time I'm must I'm being the king because we're trying to make it so that everyone can read the descriptions, and that means someone has to stream it not on YouTube and to make it so uh, the network bandwidth is not completely choked. I'm the one streaming through Discord and Norway's streaming that on YouTube. Yeah, he's streaming and Discord Bill... to me and I'm streaming the Discord to you. So there might be a delay and the video quality might not be the best. But it looks pretty good on my end, so... Yeah. Well, King of the Castle is kind of a weird game by not having peer-to-peer -peer yet, but we'll hope that... I hope that gets changed someday. Yeah. Oh well. Luckily, uh, this game is not graphically intensive, uh, or you know, it's turn-based, so that's yeah, that's not a big deal that there is a delay for the audience. So. And uh, hey, this hey, game, hey, raw metal. This game relies on you guys joining our noble houses and helping us out. So if you'd like to play, go to the link in the upper left-hand corner, kotc.app. Log in and join the room code at the top of the screen. And you two can play and help influence the uh, the uh, council of the realm. Hulk Hogan has joined. <laughs> Hulk Hogan has joined the Patricians of the Coast. Yes. Okay, Hulk Hogan is a gamer because he uses game awards, but I didn't know he would join this. <laughs> uh, Spoonie, you want to pin that as a comment to the chat so that we know people, so people know they can join? Mm. Pin how? Uh... You just, like, type something up and then you pin it. I mean, Jackson, you can do it as well, right? I can try. The answer is no, because I don't have YouTube open. I have I have the chat open through OBS, but I don't think I can pin anything from here. I'd have to go to YouTube myself. No, nah, victory for the grandees. We shall rise again. Skyrim is for the Chiefs. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so far not a lot of people are joining. I think it's uh, late or early, if you want to say. That's okay. I hope we can start with what we've got. People can join mm -hmm. us there. Uh... Alright, let's <laughs> wait a couple more minutes, just just in case, because you know, we just started and the stream. There you go, Jackson. That's right. Yeah. It might also be some people's first time, so they don't know, like, because cause we started with, uh, a, like, I don't know, like, 14 or something like that to start, and then yeah. by the end of the, the game last time, we had a full house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's correct. We did burn Spoonie at, Spoonie at the stake. How dare you. <laughs> I don't see It was really pin, close. So it was so I mean, close. You know, it is kind of poetic. You started your reign by being dunked into water, and then you ended by being burned at the stake. You know what? I didn't think of that. Yeah. You dare it rise shows... against your rightful king. <laughs> it shows the, the cyclicity. I was going to just buy it out from you for a fair price. You'd get to walk out of here with, with uh, plenty of gold and be fine. Yeah, true. But no. True, yeah. No, you had to go the burn the stake route. Mm -hmm. I even trusted the battle nuns with my life. They betrayed yes. me. I think we've learned the lesson on giving too much power to one house. <laughs> mm -hmm. I married into your house. It was actually it was actually a really good power play because that kept uh, my stability decently low uh, through, throughout all of that. It, yeah, it was it was close. It was so close for 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 the first game where the the monarch has the the least things going for them in this. That was damn close. All right, we have Doctor Insano again. Oh, Doctor back. Nice. Your 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 house. It has all the all the celebrities. <laughs> well, of course, we are the richest faction. Ah, true, true. Has all the all right. villains. Three apiece. That, I think that's a yeah. decent starting place yeah, for that's... now. Totally. Okay. Do we want to start? Oh, no, no I got chuckles. 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 
You've got no, Chuckles oh, fucking no. Jester in your party, oh. and it's going to your court. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Hey, ho, he's got the key. You're going to have to pull out the voice to, if he shows up in an event. Okay. Should we wait for another fourth person? Or should I start? Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. I'm just starting. Yeah. Okay. Then I will start the game now. Uh, Patrician's roster looking great right now. Okay, so we did uh, we did the hands the last time, so I'm not gonna be reading all of them. Mm -hmm. Wow, I have but no yeah, faith. So... Look at my faith, it's zero. <laughs> Interesting. But uh, for the people who yes. join us in this for the first time. Uh, just just uh, in brief, uh, as a king, I have to stay a king and fulfill my personal ambition. And uh, Spoonie, Shazam, and Jackson, as the leaders of the noble houses, will have to dethrone me and uh, get their own assets on the throne. We have our How own goals to fulfill. It? Uh, yeah, and how bear in mind, it's not just true. us. You guys are with us as yeah. members of our houses and are scheming alongside us to try and subvert the throne with our schemes. So everyone, everyone who's in my house, you'll vote to to support the the uh, agenda of our particular houses. Which we don't know what that is yet, but we will discover it as we play. Indeed. All right. So let us start. Now that you're the monarch, your first duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. Your nobles hail from all across the kingdom, the wintry north, the wealthy coast, and of course the scorching south. Let's go in order. Good luck in the days ahead, your greatness. You'll need it dealing with us lot. Thank you. A pleasure, your esteemed highness. I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. Lord Patrician Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yes. he you should have off. done the voice. Uh, let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> if he shows up again, I'll do it. Hell yeah. Uh, may the ninth god bless you. May the ninth god... <laughs> may the ninth god bless your reign, your majesty. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. And with that, the introductions are done. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your Spoonie's favor. Spoonie's king in the north! He needs more my king! You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. Magical wedges giving out souls is no basis for a system of government! So yeah, that's what I have to do as a monarch. I have to get a baby, and I have to fulfill my ambition. You're new and unproven. The nobles of the council will skim against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. Oh no! To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. Yeah, I didn't vote for you. <laughs> My question is this, when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Help, help, I'm being oppressed. This is an important right, let's... important uh, choice here. I think so, but uh, it wasn't clear to me the last time how you could have actually fulfilled that one. Farming? Well, he didn't get enough. He didn't get enough farming done last time, so. Well, yeah. uh, it ha just so happened a fucking werewolf slashed and burned his way across the entire country. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Destroyed what, 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 what the farm. It reduced I the farming by why, three. Yeah, I don't know why the werewolf was so interested in the farms anyway. That was a vegetarian <laughs> werewolf, I guess. So okay. uh, I, I'm gonna, India, I'm gonna be. I, I believe you pick essentially a stat that is the stat that you were trying to raise for the kingdom as a whole. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but it was not clear what the the winning condition was. It, it just said that. Uh, well, it was it wasn't clear. It was just to have it high as possible. Yeah. 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 What'd so you click? What'd you pick? Trade. Huh? Trade. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I like it. 
Oh yeah, I should be reading this. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Alright, and the last event for the start is... Your majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. What hurry? To delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. One one that, that, I suppose. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. What? Well, that's my coronation! This isn't an absolute monarchy, your majesty. Everything has to be run past a council vote. Even this. Shall we call the nobles in? Alright. And that's the main gameplay of the game. Is voting. So... And the choices are, are the same choices. as last time. Yes. What kind of coronation should be held for the new monarch? Post a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. Proceed with a religious ceremony that honors the ninth god. Throw the monarch into the river. Or outdated traditions. There's no need for a coronation. So actually, no. That wasn't here. This one. The the Instead, there was uh, on the shield. Yeah, that's You're right. You're right. Hmm. Interesting. So, okay. now you can decide whether to veto something or cast the Monarch's vote. Yes. And, uh... I personally I believe there's start. no need for a coronation at all. <laughs> These ostentatious Lovish. presentations are just a waste of resources. As well, if the we going... God, obviously we should hold a religious ceremony. Honestly... If we're going to have such an outdated tradition, we might as well live it up to the best of it. Come now, Sir Spoony. Admit it, your men would enjoy feasting upon the treasury of the kingdom. Oh! You're not paying for it. This is true. <laughs> well, I'm going to pick option B. And my uh, rationale is this. Uh, nothing gets worse because of this. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting a choice, wise your choice. A wise choice, your majesty. Nothing gets worse. <laughs> Ooh, it is a close one. Yeah. So you have 12, 12 nobles in right now. Bear in mind, you don't need to vote along party lines, although it is cool to do so. Mm -hmm. Oh well, Dark of the Monarch it is. <laughs> <laughs> again? Well, it's ho let's hope it doesn't end in fire again. <laughs> yeah. I mean... It has decided yeah, the Monarch will be thrown in the river. Well, let me get changed out of my nice robes. The nobles pick you up and carry you out to the Treadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. Ploosh. When you climb back up the bank, soaking wet, the Chancellor steps forward and places the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination, or are some of the nobles stifling giggles? <laughs> Look at the dork all wet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should have thrown him in a northern river. And now the fun part starts. Last Spoonie, skull of the would... Amory clan, sinister northern troublemaker, stands precariously on a longhouse crossbeam, spitting as they speak. Oh. Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter monarch Andy. How do we make that happen? I say we raise our own military. Ragnarok. 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 <laughs> Ragnarok the boat. Forgot the umlauts on oh this one. Oh my gosh. Ragnarok. Hornblower lore all faith would be fun though against the grandees. Mm. Like destroyed their religion. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. 
Okay. You have chosen Ragnarok. Fun. The Chiefs plan to make an alliance with the Ice Giants to take over the kingdom. First, they must not Hell be weak, yeah. or the Giants won't take their proposal seriously. To advance their scheme, the Chiefs must raise their military to five or more in four seasons. Well, well that's easy. Yeah. To keep it there, Mauro of the uh, Joshthaman lineage, well-known southern mischief maker, stands bathed in sunshine, ranting in a fury. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the south, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. All right, grandees, how are we doing this? We're going to go... Ooh, we, we don't have burning this time. We have doppelganger, intimidation, and excommunication. Hmm. Lower little little be, grandees. Fun. Uh, okay, lowering defiance for a doppelganger. You got seven oh, seconds. I see. Lower defiance. I I see what you're going for. Yeah, I like that. Because either either we rebel or we lower defiance so low that that it's passive. Okay. The Grandees plan to swap the real monarch for a perfect doppelganger. First, we must gain the trust of the spy master. To advance their scheme, the Grandees must be the region with the lowest defiance in two seasons. Okay, interesting. Two seasons is pretty is a pretty tight timeline. We'll see what we can do. Elos of the Jackson Jin family, charismatic former pirate, scribbles with a well used quill on a hardwood desk, speaking calmly. Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of Monarch Andy. Something must be done. Uh, let's see what we go for here. We've got options. I feel like conspiracy was a little bit difficult for us last time, though, mostly because, let's face it, yeah. <laughs> It's harder to control that. This we can do. This we can do. The petitions plan to privatize this entire damn kingdom. First, they must build up their industry. To advance their scheme, patricians must raise their trade to five or more in four seasons. Lucky that. Okay. So, yeah. We have our goals, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. You have your goals. I have my goals, but currently no ambition, no air, so you uh, you have me at a disadvantage. Let's see if you can pull it off. <laughs> and literally all of us are on track to continue our schemes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to adopt Call for Unity first. Alright, uh, let's start here first, in a neutral ground. Now Do you that think you we can have different people? Do you think we have different people voting, uh, voicing your council, your inner council? Uh, like I'd like to try the marshal. I'd love to. Sure, go ahead. Now that you're the monarch, you need personal protection. Why, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? Please don't hurt me. You need an honor guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. The chiefs with their most famous warrior heroes. The patricians with champion gladiators from the arena. And the grandees offer the fiercest battle nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel. Battle nuns, battle nuns, battle and nuns. Carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and your region. And of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. Okay. A band of fearsome fighters from the Tatalans. Oh, that's also you. 
Never mind. And a fearsome fighters from the Tatalans called the Battle Bitten Brethren. They specialize in bodyguard work, but they are costly, and hiring foreigners will betray a lack of confidence in our kingdom's fighters. Bearded oafs with axes and no manners. They'll get drunk and cause trouble in the palace. Hey. No discipline at all, and I can't guarantee they won't run off on some random quest. But they're honorable, and in a fight, unbeatable. We don't want the job. A gang of low-born crooks who've turned themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. They call themselves professional wrestlers. Their skill in battle is undeniable, but can you trust them? And their leader, Hulk Hogan. Okay, yeah, I should be reading the options as well. Tell me about the Southern Battle Nuns. Terrifying warriors, and they've sworn a vow of silence, so at least they won't spill state secrets. But their faith and loyalty is to the church above all, even your safety. We saw that. Okay, I have made my decision. I await your verdict with bated breath, your majesty. We don't want the job. Pick someone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I actually haven't made my decision, so let me think for a bit. I say hire mercenaries. They're as loyal as anyone yeah. else would be. Battle nuns. Battle nuns. Hush you. The coastal gladiators serve your at your leisure. We have no time for this. We're preparing for a war with the ice giants. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna with buy the myself ice some milk. Okay. I will make the arrangements at once. The battle bits and brethren arrive a few weeks later. You've never seen such a gang of huge, unpleasant looking cutthroats. Sneering and smirking and cleaning their fingernails with daggers. Your fears are assuaged by their commander, a gray-haired man who calmly explains the service they provide. As long as the coin doesn't run out, they'll sacrifice themselves to the last man on your behalf. Why the scare quotes? Huh. Okay, and now I have two more events. Let's start with this one. Your Majesty! Beef chuckles the jester. <laughs> this year I'll be holding the Winter Feast in my clan hall. It would be an honor if you could attend. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Swing for the cheat seats and hit him every time. Oh boy. I look forward to it. I can't wait! I can't wait. wait. Oh, yeah, it's Winter you. Feast is Sorry. a special time of year! You'll see! I wish they had a bit Wait. clearer oh. speech bubbles. I keep looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. What did that- well, what change did that do? What happened? Nothing. Uh, it started an event chain, probably. Yeah. yeah, I see. Yeah, so it was Winterfest event chain. Your high- your highness, I'm ruined! Hordlings have occupied my vineyard and driven my staff away! What's a hordling? Rubby little creatures, like fat green babies with claws. Hard to kill. Fire is the only way to get rid of them permanently. Whatever you do, we should do it soon. They're eating all of my grapes. I will assemble the council. I bless you, your highness. I burn the vineyard with the hordlings inside. Strong arm the other grandies into sending help, or hire a witcher. <laughs> okay. I think I know what we should do. Oh, hire a witcher? A vote to do. But you've got a vote to cast first. Mm. Are you vetoing, calling for unity, or pausing a monarch vote? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm thinking. So I think we should go with option B. That's Unfortunately, your majesty, it's not your choice, but... Yes. What's yes. You, what are you thinking? Uh, 
I'm going to I'm going to just use the monarch's boat this one. Okay. Do you want to present your cases? I say hire a witcher. This is we have no time for these shenanigans. I agree. I agree. Okay. <laughs> right. This because, because <laughs> the, ca the, the council witcher, the council is in accord. The witcher just this says is rare. The witcher is going to investigate, which means the witcher is going to take 650 coins from the treasury and do nothing. Yes, your treasury, your majesty. Yeah, yeah. but it's you're you're going to have uh, those holding infestations still going on while he. Oh, they'll be fine. I, I, have, I have faith in the witcher. Yeah, no one better to handle this. Whatever you say. <laughs> And it's a blowout. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, the Witcher did a good job last time. No. Huh. Yes, we, we just no. didn't trust him. He, he just <laughs> ran off with the money. No, that was a... Wasn't that a different adventurer? Yeah. yeah it, was, it was that event. He was, yeah. he was sent to investigate. He investigated and then ran off with the money after that. Well, he determined it was a witch that was causing all the problems, and so... Apparently, right. we nobody checked that. And I'm guessing he could have just lied. Well, the council has spoken. You dip into the treasury to hire a stone-faced adventurer from the guild. Never fear, your majesty. I can drive them out without collateral damage. I can... But I won't. I'm going to <laughs> investigate, quote unquote. <laughs> Collateral so damage costs. Oh, end of season. Yep. Right, end season. Oh, I so, forgot. About this. Time. Oh, boy. All yeah. right. Noble, it's time to dip into your coin purse. Uh, gentlemen, if you'd like to make your cases on which buildings we should be betting on. Fortress! Strengthen the military. Uh Grand Bazaar trade, obviously. I think we should build a monument. I, I I think we should build a monument to our uh our, our fair king. Okay, so I say we strengthen the military and we will invest in the thieves guild. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gone board with the thieves guild here. All right, thieves guild, sure. All right. <laughs> Wait, hang on. No, that's my trade. Get out of here. <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought it was the theater for a second. Remember, uh, people, this is coming out of your personal funds, which is above your uh, name if for anyone that's new. Yes, or uh, you, can you can bid several if, times. If yeah. what you bid does actually go through. Yes. If you, if uh, your bid doesn't go through, you get your money back. So don't worry about mm. that. We got some furious also, bidding it's not here. Like you can, it's not like you can lose if you if you spend all your money. That's the only thing you use it for, basically. In advance. Ah. Hulk Hogan put a full th grand down on the bazaar. Wow. The ancestors are pleased. <laughs> Oh! We gotta start with that one. Your Highness, I've returned from Grandee Josh the Man's Vineyard. There's something you need to know. The holdings are not there of their own accord. They are directed by a hob, a mischievous spirit enacting some great prank on Grandee Josh the Man. Together, they will be difficult to dislodge. They've collected spoons from all over the south, and are now holding them in the wine cellar. To what end, I do not know. Spoons. <laughs> of um, course it's spoons. So... Hey, I'm not... I got nothing to do with this. Let's... 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 I'm just saying! Tell me more about the hob. A mischievous shapeshifter, your highness. Mostly harmless, but delights in playing pranks. Like hoarding spoons. 
Please, your majesty, you must purge this creature from my property so I can return to my life. Show it no mercy. I would exercise caution. Hobbs are notoriously hard to get rid of, and you won't want it to target you, your majesty. Perhaps Grand Yi Josh the man could make peace with it by making an offerings of milk. It's said that such a thing can mollify a hob. Nay, your highness, I won't do it. I'm not about to appease that little monster. Why not? Uh, Grand Yi Josh man tugs his collar briefly. The truth is, I have wronged this creature greatly. It was many moons ago, but I cleared the hob spores to plant my vineyard. An offering of milk will do no good. This creature is hellbent on revenge. I'm not about to try to kill a hob if that's what you're after. It's harmless as long as we don't bother it, but otherwise... Interesting. Hire another professional to kill the hob. Yikes. Uh, I don't like any of those choices. Uh, can we just listen to the Witcher and leave the milk? I say that we should I'm... have him leave the milk. I'm I'm in agreement. Uh, while I usually want to stand with my other grandees, uh, I this seems to be more like Josh the Man's problem. <laughs> okay. I mean, okay, that's... I don't like the, that um, he has a good reason to not believe that this will work. You might want to, if I may suggest, Your Highness, uh, you might want to call for unity. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So we're going to try this, but I have a... Um, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't select. But uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that this will not work. No, no, it's working just fine. No, I mean that uh, the hope will not be appeased. Oh, the milk, yeah. Trust the Witcher. Mm. Trust the Witcher. We'll find out. That's why we hired well, him, after all. <laughs> yeah. The Witcher didn't know the, their past, so... That's true. Your That's... Majesty, you should be happy with this. It's not costing you more money. I mean, I am happy with that part, but I think the, the next season will see the continuation of this. What's done is done. Mm. Randy Josh the man continues to grumble and argue, but does as he's told. After the milk offering was accepted by the hope, both they and the grandee sat down to talk through their disagreements and then came to an accord. Huh. The two of them now work together to create the wine, which is fastly becoming one of the most popular vintages across the whole south. No a way! Turn of events. Who would have caught it? Wow. Hey. <laughs> Trade is now opulent among the grandies. <clears throat> All right, let's find us pals. I gotta leave us for later. Huh? In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person you can't avoid: your mother. Well, we know who the mother is. Why here, haven't Spoonie. you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. <laughs> I've yes. been busy. You'd better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What's your preference, men, women, or do you not mind? I don't fucking care, Mom. Excellent. I'm busy. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Your August. Oh, sorry. Your August Majesty, last <laughs> week a mysterious wanderer visited the Grand Bazaar we built in the coast. That's a terrible impression, but do go on. I, uh, <laughs> I like it. She claimed to be from the distant cloaked city of Sarakan, and said she had a number of magical artifacts for sale. But Wizard Law forbids the unlicensed trade of magical items. I thought the ninjas were just a myth. The Wizard City of Sarakan in Fall of Velimir is the subject of many legends, but that doesn't mean it's a myth. I humbly request the Council grant her Grand Bazaar a license, so that the coast may benefit from this wondrous magic. So, you want to grant a license to the wizards of the coast? Am I getting that correct? Yes! Uh. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So if I'm reading this properly, and I don't know if I am. Yeah, it's. I think it says 100%. So. 100% likely to succeed. Yep. Probably yeah. because the trade stat is so high right now. So it yep. rolls. It rolls a stat in accordance. So let's do it. Send the sorcerer away. We have no. We have no use for them. Uh, Randy, think... are you in agreement? I think we can invite the wanderer for a, a direct audience with the monarch. Try to uh, get a little bit more information. This is a legendary city that we know nothing about. Uh, that you know, I, th I think just immediately granting the bizarre magic license is maybe too risky. It could be a hoax. Either way, we'll have full control over the situation. Sorry, I believe this is in the best interests of all of us. It is an almost uh, effectively guaranteed offering, after all. See? Chuckles the Jester has voted along these lines. Damn you, Chuckles. <laughs> Oh, wait. Letting us go. See if it explodes in our faces oh. somehow. It's magic. If it doesn't explode in our faces, it's not doing Thank its job. Thank you, my fellow members of the council. <laughs> Lord Patrician <laughs> Dr. Insano travels back to the Grand Bazaar and leads negotiations with a Chinese wanderer. This can't go badly at all. The wanderer's items prove prohibitively expensive. By pooling their wealth, the patricians can only afford a single item. This magic bean. But a very useful one. It's a fully rigged sailing ship that can glide over solid ground like it's water and can then be folded in up and placed in a pocket. An Our trade can't. is now Monopoly. It can't glide over water, though. You gotta have power. Mm. <laughs> ah. I got that reference. Yes, Bojo. We can carry our goods far and wide across the kingdom. <laughs> With yeah, science. no, I've never practiced my insano before. Okay, and that's the end of us. All right, I think we we've all got check marks. Let's see here. In the south, beneath the scorching sun, Grandy uh, Mountaineer is scrolling through his strolling through his vineyard in the company of a few close friends. You said he had a. Sorry, you said you had a surprise for me. Indeed, and here it is. Behold, your, your Majesty, what are you doing here at such an hour? I'm sorry. I hope I, you didn't overhear any. <laughs> Quit babbling, you blowhard. This isn't the monarch. It's a peasant who the monarch's who's the monarch's spitting image. That's what you'd like to think. What's above, and just in time, the spy master trusts us, and we can move on to the next phase. Kidnapping the monarch and putting this fool in, in their place. How do we manage that? We need the kingdom in utter chaos. Bad enough that the monarch's abdu uh, abduction can slip past unnoticed. For next stage of their scheme, the grandees must lower uh -oh. stability to four less in four seasons. That's gonna be rough. I mean, okay, it's, it's doable in four seasons, but yeah, it's it is rough, four yeah. seasons. Okay, guys, we're on we're on plan chaos. Chaos. Project Take chaos. The world. Project chaos. The patricians invent insurance, making five hundred wealth, while fires rack the coast. The other naval nobles gain two hundred wealth. Okay. Now Andy gets to set taxes. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Damn! Wow. It's so mean! <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> so much for our money. That uh, you know, when, when the authority is so ironclad, I guess you don't have to risk rebellion yet, but god yep. damn. Yeah. Uh. Speaking of fires... Yeah. You didn't Your Majesty, the there's been a terrible fire in the city of Kovana. Where once there was buildings, there is now a field of smoldering ash. Dozens of peasants have died. What caused this fire? It was always burning since the world's been turned. 
<laughs> Billy Joel is, was stuck in a warehouse, and then no one has a no one knows whether or not he started the fire or didn't. A warehouse was storing lamp oil unsafely and in immense quant and in immense quantities. The owners were in the middle of haggling over prices when one of the merchants lit his pipe. Well, I'm sorry to hear that your city went up in flames. Oh, Lamp oil? My... Robo bombs. Bombs? We have everything you need. As long as you sorry, have Sorry, Your Majesty. Rupees. You have enough rupees. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping the council might unlock some funds for the treasury so we could rebuild. I mean, after the, such a lucrative tax season. <laughs> nope. Actually, the treasury's too low. Wow. Or for rebuilding stone, at least. Okay. Well, you can vote. Veto. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. I don't really like a lot of those options. Yeah. I gotta pick like something. Any of them. I don't gotta pick something. You gotta no, pick something. No, it's true. Is there one that you want us to not vote for? Or do let's... you trust us to vote together? Uh, let's see. Present your cases, please, first. I will... I see no reason to help them at all. Offer no help yep. to these people. Let it... Yeah, let it burn. I was going to say introduce warehouse regulations so this can never happen again. After all, let's be honest here. This is something that could make a problem for the rest of the kingdom. Wait, I'd no, rather we ex... not let the Wait. not let the rest of our kingdom burn. I've changed my mind. Randy's foolishness. I've changed my mind. We should introduce regulations so this can never happen again. Good man, good man. Mm. Uh, You'd like that, wouldn't you, Shazam? Uh, uh, you I mean, like your kingdom Lord... not being on fire, right? <sighs> no, he wants to say he wants to destabilize the realm. Uh, I'm not opposed to introducing regulations. Wait, my kingdom might be, though. Call the vote. Okay. Ah, the goodness of democracy. The grandees pitifully squabbling on the sides. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think this one was going to go our way, but still. Lord of the I'm North, just, I'm so just, glad that we can to come to an agreement. Stick to our guns. Most of the townsfolk celebrate that justice has been done and future disasters have been averted. So, though the grandees who bear the cost of rebuilding grumble that money would have been much more helpful. Yeah, and what is the point of having a monarch in the first place? Meanwhile, merchants chafe against the new regulations. Many migrate to other regions where the laws are less restrictive. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Winterfest. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Winterfest. 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 Yeah, that's it. After weeks of leading your baggage train along perilous mountain roads, you finally arrive at the snow-swept clan hall of Chief Chuckles the Jester. The hall is cramped with all the chiefs <laughs> of the north sitting cheek to cheek along tables, groaning under the weight of food and ale. Welcome, Your Majesty, to my humble hall. Take a seat. Grab a drink. It is customary at Winterfist to exchange gifts with the host. What did you bring? Let's see. You are exchanging gifts, so you're not getting nothing. Yes. I'm gonna be very generous today. 
This is far beyond what was necessary, Your Majesty. I will forever be in your debt. Now I can afford to repair those blasted roads. And cheap. After that, the chuckles made a ton of money there. Wow. After that, the feast lasts long into the night. The fires roar, the bards sing songs of the old days, and a lake of ale is consumed. A couple of hours in, you are extremely, extremely drunk, a little merry, still stone cold sober. Uh. I'm gonna say a little merry. As Winterfist draws on, and the snow piles up outside the doors, the mood in the hall turns raucous. Your memory is blotchy, but you distinctly recall... ...getting into a fight, taking part in a contest, leading the entire hall in song. Well... Russell! Russell! Uh... You just all the let's, song, your majesty. Let's sing along! Yay! The chiefs roar alongside you, full-throated, as you sing the stirring battle songs of the north long into the night. <laughs> the next morning, the chiefs are scattered around the hall, groaning and nursing their hangovers. Your own hangover isn't too bad, but the thought of the voyage home makes you wince. You bid farewell to the chiefs and begin the long, perilous journey back to the capital. What a party! That was actually a really nice event. One, one of the few events that was like, oh, it's just a party. <laughs> really good, yes. Yeah. I think if I if I if I gave the the fierce Norseman silk pajamas, that would have been a bad time. <laughs> good point. Queen Mother. Oh, I found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the th kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. What if I don't want to marry any of them? That's a decision that can wait until after you've seen them, isn't it? That's not a decision, that's a question, Mom. Your mother leads you to the Great Hall where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Alright, then let's see the eligible candidates. <clears throat> she whisks away the cloth in the first portrait. This is Frida, firstborn daughter of the Northern Mountaineer clan. She's your typical northern lass, as far as I can tell. Big and loud, and all the social graces of a goat, but means well. I've heard she spends most of her time playing cards or making wagers with her friends and hangers-on. They say she's popular with the common folk up north, too. How can she play cards if she's just an easel? <laughs> <laughs> I will punch you. <laughs> From the coast, we have Morinus, the wealthy heir to Lord Patrician Kingdom's estate. He wasn't originally the heir, but his elder brothers had an unfortunate accident. Okay. I quote-unquote unfortunate accident. He recently gave away half his fortune to the church, much to everyone's surprise. The common folk hate him for some reason, but who cares what the people think? Uh, yeah, I don't like this guy. He's very suspicious. And finally from the south, Katano, the eldest son of the Samuel Murphy lineage. A quiet and retiring soul... Preferring solitude to the company of others. Like many in the South, he claims to put his faith in the Ninth God above all worldly concerns. Actually, he's a little intense. He calls himself an avatar of the Ninth Justice. Okay. Wow. Wow. Something wait, wait, about how the Grandmies are supposed to be kings right now, but I don't know what that's about. Why did you bring me those creepy, creepy fuckers, Mom? What do you think? By picking a candidate, you'll anchor the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. Which of them do you wish uh, to marry? Yeah, you you the only one who doesn't sound like you're gonna kill me. <laughs> Grandies are getting restless. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's, the, that's season. the end of the season. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um... Uh, I'm gonna stick with those. Iron Choice looks powerful. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> A spot of heresy. <laughs> okay, let's start from the north this time. Oh, I'm sorry. Your greatness, I'm stunned, outraged, and incensed. I've been summoned to trial by Inquisition on some nonsense fabricated charge. Let me guess, you're a werewolf. 
They're saying a group of church missionary missionaries went missing near my lands. The weather's cold around there. Anything could have happened to them. No one dares defend me on their own, through they're too scared of the High Inquisitor. The trial is set, but the council must intervene, your majesty. Though she remains silent, the council is keenly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. As our resident religious, would you like to play the Grand Inquisitor there, uh, Shazam? Absolutely, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so I'm going to say let's go with A, because that has the highest chance of succeeding. And remember, guys, succeeding here doesn't actually threaten you. Hmm. But it could also fail, and I am for that. <laughs> it's a slim chance. I believe... I believe it is in our best interest to at least play fair with our nobles and search for a legitimate witness. But the Ninth God does provide, and we can always just pray for a good outcome. I think you should help the Inquisition... Oh, sorry. I think you should help the Inquisition gather evidence against him. No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. So, pray or help. Okay. Hmm. I believe, I believe the Ninth God will provide. I'm actually not sure how I want to vote myself. Um... Bearing in mind, this is one of yours. I think I think uh, No is trying to clean his own playing field first before moving on to challenging me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying raising my defiance might not be a bad idea. Especially if I'm going to militarily mm. oppose him at some point. Mm. Okay, no, that's a fair reason. You distribute a proclamation among the chiefs asking for witnesses of Amari's innocence. A northern villager eventually comes forward saying she saw the missionaries heading in the direction of the frozen lake near Amari's estate. Indeed, they're soon found wandering aimlessly through the featureless tundra, completely lost and snowblind, but alive. With no dead missionaries, the High Inquisitor is forced to drop the charges and pay compensation to Amari, who sends you a small gift in thanks. Wow, the this event turned really good. Nobody died. Holy shit. <laughs> Just this was... once. Yeah. Everybody lives. All the events sure in my kingdom's we'll reign were just disastrous. Frozen, the, the frozen bodies, like eaten by wolves or something yeah my my, this my reign was plagued by realm. terrible but now in your uh, realm it's going great you're waiting to free the is naturally the talk of the kingdom nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend for a week and a day the capital is one giant party it feels like you're the only one not taking part instead you're getting ready for the ceremony soon enough you're standing in saint bernard's cathedral with frida at your side but do I have a Saint Bernard with me? Yeah. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? I Marriage. do, I guess. Then I pronounce you married in the eyes of the kingdom. Marriage. 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 Of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. Your new wife Frida dances so vigorously that she spills wine all over herself. I mean, I guess that's hot maybe i don't know by the time you find yourself alone with frida it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired oh Sweet. good god i am so drunk and yet somehow not drunk enough time for more wine sure servants <laughs> bring us wine <laughs> that's a spirit no, well yes a vine is a spirit yes very observant frida um. So what do you like to do in your spare time? Oh, you know, drinking, gambling, having fun, basically. What did you think of the wedding? It was damn beautiful from start to finish, wasn't it? I had a whale of a time. <laughs> All right, let's try to start on this air early. No time like the present, eh? 
She speaks back the last dregs of her wine and leads you to bed. Damn. And from one wedding to the next. <laughs> oh no, the crabs! Anyone want to play Chancellor? Uh, uh, I... Oh, yeah, Chancellor is one of my guys, but yeah. Do you want any of you? Uh, Sony? Your Majesty, the Archduke of Saul has invited you to his forthcoming wedding. Your attendance would help show up relations between our two great nations. Depths below! Great nation! The Isle of Saul is nothing more than a nest of pirates and cutthroats. And I heard it is the proper marriage anyway. The Archduke is marrying a fish. Oh, your Hulk oh, Hogan? Oh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it isn't a proper marriage anyway. The Archduke is marrying a fish, brother. A fish. The groom is a fin folk, one of the denizens of the sea. Perfectly sapient and actually amphibious. Well, the church doesn't agree with a man marrying a fish. We mustn't legitimize this farce by allowing the monarch to attend. Should okay. the monarch attend the so, wedding between the Archduke of Saul and a finfolk groom? Listen, they're, they're, they're from Innsmouth. This can only end poorly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't really get why the outcomes are like this, but... Let's see. Well, if you, if you attend the wedding, people think that it's weird... But you gain stability, I suppose, by making it so that, you know, there isn't a fish uprising. Uh, I but... am wondering if I can actually raise my stability above 10 anyway. Like, no, you I can't. I don't believe so. You can't, I think. You I think tried. It... Yeah. I think you should go, but this doesn't affect me at all, so whatever. <laughs> I, I think I should go, but I don't like the, the consequences of this. I. Uh... I gain absolutely nothing from from going. Yeah, but yeah, maybe it's better in the long term, right? Like maybe you keep things stable going forward. Event, uh, yeah, event, event wise, uh, at this point, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna call for unity, and let's see how our noble uh, council people vote. Uh, it is blasphemy to attend. I think, uh, but we don't want to start a war. I think we can just send warm regards should be enough for this this pairing. <laughs> Apparently, Morin Manny wants to see someone bone a fish. Apparently. I mean, don't you? <laughs> That's what the butchers do, right? Wait, like the fish no, they debone de de a fish. De I, and fish. you have bone fish, so that's the opposite. Excellent. The wedding yep. is scheduled yep. for next year. I'll inform the Archduke that you'll be delighted to attend. <laughs> Kingdom is sliding into madness. When it's announced when... that you will attend the wedding, the patricians are naturally scandalized. But the peasants, sentimental as ever, are in favor of your decision. Public opinion turns against the overly strict church. Faith couldn't be any lower for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have no use for All your right. false gods. <laughs> Our only god is the church, is, is the church of coin, so. Far, Far from to the, the north, north, where snow blankens the landscape and wolves howl in the night, the chiefs plot to bring about the end of the world. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Praise Morgana! Initial talks with the ice are going so well. Chuckles. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm not doing any more chuckles. <laughs> they're going so well okay. that they've gifted us a new patch of fertile land in the northern valleys. The gods are good. With luck, this will be the foundation of an alliance strong enough to rock the world. Well, makes sense for Chief Raw Metal. Aye, the ice giants are a formidable ally. Tall as a building and limbs like tree trunks, and these southerners don't know how to fight them like we do. But first we must offer something the giants desire. A whole kingdom's worth of pillage? Just what I was thinking. If we fill the kingdoms with bountiful... Sorry, if we... I'll start over. 
If we fill the kingdom with bountiful goods and plunder, the giants won't be able to resist. For the next stage of chief scheme, they must raise other regions' trade for two combined total of 12 or more in two seasons. I can do that. Which oh. you already did. So. Has to stay there, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think one of you is going to depose me because I'm put, not putting any effort to stop your scheming. Mm. Uh, yeah. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The coast's economy has never been better. We're making more money than I know what to do with. Money breeds money. I've made it. A... <laughs> <laughs> money breeds money! I've made a series of investments to improve our profits even more! An anti-magic field generator kit! But what do you do with all the rest of this gold? Time to start buying things, of course. Land, roads, bridges... We'll buy up the whole kingdom, piece by piece. Jeff Bridges? Yes. But first the monarch must be in desperate need of our gold. To advance their scheme, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1500 or less in two seasons. That's going to be very easy for you guys. Uh -huh. Yep. So, all so of you are all... advancing your schemes. Yes, uh, yes. We're not. Our we're uh, not. disability is way too high. Alright, let's start from the south this time. Stability is going to be rough for you. But, yeah. but keep in mind... Uh, my stability plummeted by like four in one turn one time. Right. Mm. Yeah, we, we we can still do it, and it'll give us a new potentially a new alternate condition after two seasons if we're not on pace. Yeah, that's what cost me the game was the stability dropping by like four. Yep. Oh, mm. that hurts so much. <laughs> Your Majesty, a blacksmith to the south has come up with some sort of a printing contraption. Instead of relying on the painstaking effort of scribes, it produces a hundred copies of text an hour. How remarkable. Yes, Your Holiness. Isn't technology wonderful? Don't you see how dangerous this is? Books should stay in churches and universities, or else commoners will start getting ideas. Interesting. Let us see... Okay. Okay. Uh, I, if you ask me, we should bring this technology to the masses. I agree. Na naturally, I, it's it's a fantastic invention. I feel as though we mu should be granting it to the use of universities for farming purposes, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it does yeah. increase farming for that whatever makes reason. Total sense. I mean, I would be alright with that one as well, but I prefer a. I say the university. Should, the, North? the university should be the ones to use the printing presses. Well, we have little fine. use for books I'm not anyway. Put any law on the table? This is completely up to you. Uh, yeah. Nobody seems to want to pick B or D, so I'm not going to veto either of them, and that's fine by me. And we're off, and we're voting pretty different distinctly. A more, a more educated populace is a uh, populace with uh, more potential to increase trade. The council has spoken. Quail University will be proud to take stewardship of this marvelous new technology. Over the next few months, the university publishes countless educational texts spreading knowledge that had once been confirmed, confined to its own library. It proves an immense boon to trade and farming, as the common folk learn advanced techniques for increasing crop and mining yields. Excellent. <laughs> mm. 
Unfortunately, Queer University also publishes a few histories of the kingdom that don't paint the monarchy in a flattering light. Excellent. So yes. I, I wonder if there can there be like a, an end to this game where nobody takes the monarch seat and then it just evolves into. You know, if authority, oh, yeah. if authority, treasury, stability ever reach zero, then everyone loses. I think. Yeah, because yeah. the kingdom just blows up basically. Yeah, but that's a bad ending. Is there a good? Yeah, yeah it's a bad ending. Yeah. Mm. Your esteemed highness, your esteemed highness, something most strange has occurred in the ghost sea. Oh, the ghost sea shit. A new island has risen, halfway between our shores and the Isle of Sal. The Finn folk raise it from the depths using their weird ocean uh, magic. Uh, this is how you get Cthulhu's. It's true, your majesty. The Finn folk raise the island to celebrate the marriage of the prince of the Archduke of Sal. They will gift it to him on the day of the ceremony. This is terrible news. That island is of immense strategic importance. We can't let it fall into Salish hands. How is it immense strategic importance? What the fuck am I going to do there? Pay a wizard to sing Pay a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't oh, do it. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. None of them, uh -huh, none of them have uh -huh. clear... Effects. Interesting. No, you just have to figure it out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Your Majesty, if you'd like to make your case off the bat. Uh, D sounds horrible. Let's not pick that. Uh, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna pick D. We should a, absolutely stop um, the wedding. I don't, tr I don't really like A, but it's alright. I would prefer myself B. We promised it, and like. Who are we to this stop? is an unholy union. It must be. We must stop I'm the gonna, Finn folk. I'm gonna veto D because that sounds just like crap. All right. This doesn't affect me at all, so I honestly don't care. But I'm gonna say you should attend <laughs> the wedding as planned. I agree. I would like to recommend we send the monarch to conduct secret negotiations with the Finn folk, mostly just to see what we can get out of the deal. We didn't know they were going to do this, therefore the deal has changed. It's only fair. You know what? I'm more inclined for that one then. Oh, okay. See, 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 see what we can get. See what we can get out of it. Oh well, I would prefer B, but it's at least not the dickish options. It's a good thing I can't pay the wizard because I think that everyone would pick that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Well, the council can speak how they wish. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh. Oh, it's, it's tight. It's tight. You need it's two more tight. votes, it seems. Ah, damn it. And it clears away. Interesting. That is a shame. I would have much preferred. Go how for it, you, Your Majesty. How can you order me to do this? I don't. Council for rules. The council. Go for it. I mean, you Go can't forth. order me to do shit, though. You can you can pass laws, Go forth. but you we... can't order me Go to forth. do shit. Go forth. <laughs> Good. Now hop to it. I don't care what you offer them. Get that island. Preparations begin for your clandestine visit to one of the Finn folks undersea villages. Your Chancellor has heard of magic reeds that allow the bearer to breathe underwater, but such a thing will take weeks to track down. At least that gives you time to prepare for your underwater visit. Into the Octopus's Garden. Uh, where's the... oh. The Council season has ended for the day, so you're quite surprised when Lord Patrician Jackson Jean corners you in a back passage of your castle just before dusk. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Always a pleasure, your August Magistry. Apologies for surprising you like this, but I have an urgent matter that I thought you'd want to hear in private before I go to the council. I like that your your banner is sparkly. You yeah, know, I, I think it says you signed in on Polish. Steam. Mm -hmm. Your wife, the Queen Consort, how can I put this? She owes me a lot of money. Oh. Gambling debts, mainly. She borrowed quite a lot from me to recover some lost funds. But now it's time to collect, 
and she's been avoiding you. Ah, uh, so I can't just give you the money. That sucks. I can't yeah, you don't. You. <laughs> you don't have enough in the treasury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Throw him in jail. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is just karma uh, for the werewolf shit, isn't it? Uh, I didn't vote for that. I didn't vote for that to be clear. I wanted you saved as much as possible. I mean, I, I, I do want to, I do want to pick this one just because it's funnier. But I'm mm -hmm. not going. <laughs> That's unfortunate, your esteemed highness. Still, I thank you for your time. And for not throwing me in jail, even though it would be funnier. He scurries away into the darkness of your corridors. During the council's next session, Lord Patrician Jackson Jean levels the same accusation against Frida, only this time in public. At this stage, you're powerless to step in. A council vote will determine Frida's fate. Hmm. Well, I mean, Whoa, three hey. choices. Whoa. But I can't veto one of them. That sucks. Yep. I say you forgive the debts already. You can't force the other chiefs to cover the, the queen consort's debts. Yeah, we can. How can we, we be held responsible can, for we her? We should. We cannot be held responsible for her or gambling. Well, we would hold the king some responsible for it, but he's too poor. He's broke. Would you expect us to get let the queen off? With no regard for her own conscience, I think they're the basically inviting. I think the stability of the realm should come first. We shouldn't bankrupt the con the. We shouldn't bankrupt the uh, coffers of the treasury just to settle some old gambling debts. What does this say for the for gambling in in general? This should be illegal. <laughs> that's not it what that's, that's the was on the table right now, though. Exactly. So if you'd like, yeah. if you'd like to put, tell the queen that the point is, I'm owed money. You so guys. You go... So you would have a reputation of not paying your debts. Sure. You would have the queen have a reputation of not paying her debts. Yeah. Look, if you want to be mad at anyone, be mad at the queen. I would love to take the money from them, but you see what I'm saying here. Oh, I think absolutely. this is about. I think this is between two people, not the rest of us. Um, you yeah. I would agree that it doesn't concern me personally, and it doesn't concern the kingdom because I can't pay it, so do whatever. <laughs> this is so unfair. This is justice. The justice of the court of the court of, of the noble of the council, I might add. Out of character for a second. I'm rather pissed off that we're getting all these chances to absorb money from the kingdom, but he's too poor to accept them. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a good thing that my wife is such a fucking shitty gambler that her debt is too much for me to pay. <laughs> for the entire kingdom to pay. Boo! <laughs> a fitting compromise, some would say, but the chiefs are unhappy about covering for the queen consort. Well, what can you do? I do grant favor to those who've been able to pay this. Frida awkwardly avoids your gaze as Lord Patrician Jackson Jean starts to count out his coin. One, two, three. She's got to stay here, by the way. Four, five. <laughs> Soon it'll belong to the ice giants anyway. All right, make your case, okay. nobles. Hmm. Uh, we should build a prison. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> that's pretty much his one and only two, priority. We, we have too many. We have too many criminals wandering the kingdom. We must build a prison to keep them locked up. I would actually up. like to suggest we build a monument here. The kingdom needs a little bit more authority, if you know what I mean. Yes, authority by locking up criminals in a prison. We need another fortress. <laughs> just keep building fortresses until the land is covered by them. Hey, do you want ice if giants? Because this outside, is how you get ice giants. 
If you step outside a fortress, you should just immediately step into another fortress. You're gonna get all the ice all giants you wanted in a minute here. Alright. Make your bids. All the money into a prison. Yeah. All right. So the prison has got all the grandees shoving all their cash into it. It's basically except a race for, for second except place. For right chaos. Now. Chaos is the only frugal one among us right now. <laughs> chaos has, has has a long term game plan. Why some of our patricians have been funding the cathedral, I'm not entirely sure. But you know what? Your money. Spend it how you like. Second Maybe place is close. It's in your realm. Second place was really close, but time's up. Nice, Josh the man, for funding the prison. All right. Okay. Let me start with the central region this time. Your marriage to Frida has grown stale. Oh, you got along well enough. You made some good memories together, but there's no spark. She cares more about her stupid card games, the children card games, than your happiness. <laughs> On but spark or no spark, you still need an heir. Oh, congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. Uh, I'm... It went about as well as could be expected. You're still in power, aren't you? Still got the crown on your head? That's what matters. For now. You've done well so far, but something's still missing. An heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard. Or the youngest of your many cousins. Uh, sure. Ah, the traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can, um, get down to business. It's gonna take a month of hard work. Uh, You're you aware of the... Yeah. Uh, no one, yes. I was going to try it. Go You're ahead. aware of the ice giants, I hope. Rootish creatures that live in the frozen wastes beyond our northern borders. In a time before time, they ruled the north and kept people as slaves. The chiefs are willing to let bygones be bygones. They're forging an alliance with the giants to bring down your kingdom. What are the chiefs offering to those overgrown monsters? My intelligence suggests that the chiefs have offered up a kingdom as plunder for the giants when the time comes. What does your wisdom suggest? It's not often that I say this, but the kingdom's strong economy is a problem. Even ice giants can sense such a lucrative opportunity. Uh, yeah, thank you. So you're, you're trying to now give me a goal that contradicts my goal. Thank you. That's difficult to determine. Perhaps the marshal could provide a more precise answer, but I would imagine not. We haven't fought the giants in centuries. Only the chiefs know how, and they aren't likely to tell us. The two of them combined would be a formidable foe for even the most well-equipped army. Okay. What should be done about the ice giant threat? We must build a wall. A great wall. A powerful wall. And we'll make the ice giants pay for pay it. Pay for it, yep. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm, for I'm, I'm for building a wall. Actually, I would like to suggest that we trust in the strength of our arms to defeat them. But yeah, do I'd that. I'd like to say that. I'd like to say that, but that's honestly the, the, the least likely to help. So yeah, let's, let's just go with the wall. I think you should veto the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how a wall will keep out a giant. To be perfectly honest. The kingdom's military it, might is quite powerful, though. So it's a delay scheme for one reason. 
season. So I guess it mm-hmm. is a it is a, a great wall indeed. Uh, mm-hmm. The problem is like it's also lowering your authority. Is it? If you send giant tribute to the ice giants. No, no, no. I'm talking about the wall. No, the wall is just delay it. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah. I don't like sending them tribute because I don't think it will work. Ugh. Yeah, I don't, do I don't think want? I don't think Sam and True will, will work either. But uh, it's possible that trusting the strength of the arms uh, could work uh, if things? it's if it's know. a hidden if it's a hidden military role, for instance. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with B myself, but I'm I'm fine with C. I don't like A, but I'm not going mm-hmm. to veto it either. Chiefs vote C. Oh. Go with B. I mean, the tribute sounds like a diplomatic solution, but it, it's just not gonna work. Yeah. Like, it's not like you're gonna chunk down our trade that far, you know? No, I, sure. Again, if I if I had any confidence that it would not achieve the opposite results, I would have said uh, vote for this one, but I'm pretty sure that the Giants are just gonna say, oh, those weaklings are trying to buy us out. Let's attack them. Or, or they think, or they see the kingdom is even more lucrative. Yeah, more mm-hmm. that. A wall? I don't really think that's necessary. Such things are always torn down eventually. Perhaps they're right, but at least it will buy you some time. Walk on the so-called Andy's wall begins right away. There's no Andy's time wall. Waste. Uh, is it a so-called wall, or is it a so-called Andy's wall? Is the question. It's so-called Andy's wall. Yeah, I, I figured. The chief's stat, stat goal will not be evaluated until the end of the next season. Well, it's not like I can stop it anyway, but I, I, I did buy myself some time, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. Let's visit the Fin Folk! Yay! Oh my god. Yeah, the Finfolk yeah. The Fin Folk a stagecoach made from a gl- giant clam pulled by seahorses. You equip your magic breathing reed and hop inside. Well, at least it sounds fun. The clam carriage plunges back beneath the waves, and you are whisked down into the murky depths. A few hours later, you arrive at an undersea citadel of kelp woven huts. Wait, why is this carriage called Titan? What? Oh no! <laughs> it's you at a grand table formed of knotted coral. Tiny fin folks spawn in, swim around your legs as you sit. <laughs> oh, this place is amazing! A whale passes overhead, momentarily dousing you in shadow. And the like fine folk, am I right? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! A wooga, a wooga, a wooga. Whoops! I just dropped a big bag of pearls. Could you pick them up for me? Okay, first of all, I must offer my congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, may I ask, why do you have to give him a dowry? Well, it's a very small island. After all, he was I mean, that's that's right. We do. Uh, okay, so I can I can war. I can tell him this, but it's it, it appears that it will be interpreted as a threat, instead of just saying, you know, that I'm kind of out of my hands. Offer him pearls! Um, yeah, I can give him pearls, although, why would I offer him pearls? They probably have pearls, like, up their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch be pearls! Uh, I can say this, but I think it's a bad idea, but I'm gonna be honest. Please, just trust me. Why would I lie? (laughs) 
That's okay. Well enough. Your clam coach spirits you back to the surface. As you wade onto the beach, you gasp for breath. Air never tasted so good. Most unfortunate, Your Majesty. The wedding will go ahead after all, but at least you tried. Sort of. You could have given them am, pearls, and that honestly, would probably have worked. That's, what, that's the outcome. I wanted the wedding to go as planned, so... All right. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the south, thousands of miles away, Grandy Mountaineer has invited his closest associates to his manor house for some wine and cheese and treason. Hell yeah. The kingdom is at peace and everyone's looking for a new scandal to focus on. Not exactly the right climate to abduct a monarch. Also, it's really hot, so... Yeah. I could finally publish my memoirs if you think that would cause enough of a distraction. What? No, I don't think that'll do it. We need total chaos across the whole kingdom. You underestimate <laughs> the the impact of my memoirs. That grandee's aim is to lower stability to four. Wow, well, good luck. Wow. That, to four or less. Yeah, uh, it's good still luck. rough. I still say it can be done, but uh, it'll be tough. Yeah, it can be done, but yeah. <laughs> Sitting on a bench outside a sun bleached villa. Two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. <laughs> Are you doing all right, Des? Patrician Manny? It makes sense. The treasury is not exactly suffering right now. Patience, my friend. Let's buy their time until the monarch's gold runs out. Yeah, you're getting a bit closer. The patrician's aim is to lower the treasury to 1500 or less, so your goal is exactly the same and it's really easy to achieve. You just need to knock off 250 gold. Unless he's gonna tax the shit out of us again. Uh... I wouldn't exactly raise our defiance any higher, I'll put it that way. I'm gonna do this. Ah! Yeah. Hmm. Let, let's all be equally defined. Okay, let's go to the wedding. To the wedding first. That's not the fish man. That's not the fish man. That's not the fish man. Lost Patrician Manny, could you stop drinking while you're talking to me? You're... you're... You no, 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 no. the act is not going no, well right. at all. <laughs> we must forge an alliance with Saul. They have fast ships, and with this new island outpost, control over most of the Ghost Sea. Or you could publicly object to this blasphemous union of a man and fish. He's not a fish, he's a fin fog. Same difference. Fucking racist piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> and not only is Can't it a look. fish wedding, it's a gay fish wedding. It is a gay fish wedding. It is. Someone, someone inv invite Kanye. Wait, no, maybe not. I oh, am not don't. a gay fish. <laughs> we we have a one racist piece of shit there already, so we don't yeah. need another. <laughs> don't need another exactly. Cancel Spoonie. Oh, this is a matter for the council, I believe. Okay, just as the wedding like a normal human being. Can I do that? I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking veto B just in case some asshole decides to <laughs> say this. I, I would like to recommend... Them. I would like to recommend we seek an alliance with Saul. We failed to do so earlier <laughs> with our infiltration secret meeting, but we at the very least can make clear <laughs> we're willing to talk with him. We've already talked to them once. Maybe they'll trust us on the second time. Honestly, I'm in agreement with this. It's fine by me. Just as long I'm as there... nobody votes for B, that's fine. Yeah. Me. Just attend the wedding. The alliance. Just attend the wedding like a normal human being. Yeah, that, uh, that's what I would prefer. So, 
Excuse me. I, a moment. I want. I know where the. I want to where the alliance story storyline goes. <laughs> it's coming down to the wire. It is. Oh. You still. You, you can still wait. You don't have to. You don't have to press continue if, if you want to know, let all I the know. votes come in. All right, all right. I know. I I saw that only like a third of the uh, two thirds of the vote came in. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's still down to the wire. Wow. Yep. Wow. Out of fifteen. I'd still suggest a decided the vote. Alliance, but... You can call it now. Voted. You can call it now and decide the vote yourself. I could. Yeah. I could. Do we have the last person? Going once. Going twice. Going three times. Okay. I guess I'll have to decide my own. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna attend the event like a like a normal person. Very well, Your Majesty. Very well. Boring. Oh, I have spoken, but... <laughs> nope. 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 No. No. Still, still. Try some more. Your ventriloquist still needs work. Mm -hmm. so, soon, the time has come. You board a ship and sail to the newly risen island where the Archduke of Sao is due to marry his thin folk crew. Naturally, Fred is accompanying you. Hopefully the ceremony's not too dull. Bring on the free food and wine, that's what I say. She drinks the ocean, thinking it's mine. The new island crests the horizon. It's an empty little rock devoid of vegetation, with no buildings except a marquee and a hastily constructed church of the ninth. But it's packed with people, mostly minor nobles of Saul, who welcome you with cheers and bows. You file into the church. As the ceremony begins, the Finfolk Prince walks down the aisle while the Archduke of Sao waits with clasped hands. Uh, I'm gonna be the priest. Does sure. anyone here know any lawful impediment to these two people being joined in marriage? <laughs> I can say I object to get wow. all of the negative shit. So, wow. Oh, oh increase his faith. Then I now pronounce you married. That's, That's that, that then. Time for a party! He's one of my boys, so... Everyone crowds into the Marquis to get incredibly drunk. Actually, he's not. He's a neutral. Uh, he's not yeah, a neutral. Yeah. Yeah. It's on as my land. Making, as you're making the rounds, chatting mm. in goblin, uh, goblin canapes, you find yourself face to face with the Archduke. Your Majesty, thank you for coming. A toast to my new husband and I. I can see you're very much in love. Well, yes. And the island dowry didn't hurt. Uh, well, I can ask this, or I can just leave. Hmm, that's, uh, that's actually a good question. I'm going to just leave. Have fun. It's not time to discuss politics. You and Frida celebrate long into the night and wake with a sudden headache. When you arrive back at the capital, the council is pleased that you followed their advice. I have a bit of a good time at the wedding, you're nope. team join us. Okay, look. <laughs> a gift it's many every time. Day. As thanks for your attendance, the Archduke of Sao has sent you a silver statue of an elephant with emerald eyes. Uh, I, okay, I guess. The new iron proves to be immensely beneficial for Salish trade. They expand their operations, outcompeting your own merchants at every turn. Oh, well. It's also a key military outpost. The islanders of Sao become known as undisputed masters of the ocean, while the patricians can only seize and cope. God damn it. Opium. Wow. This You're is frustrating. Weak. More and Manny, I'm sorry. I just was trying to do a bit. <laughs> <laughs> The chief architect bustles into your office, carrying an armful of parchment. Statues can be turned down, paintings can be burned. Don't you think it's time you left a lasting mark on this kingdom? Oh, this guy again. I propose we carve your majesty's visage into the side of a mountain. It will take dozens of artisans, thousands of hours, but it will ensure you're always remembered. Uh, can I be polite? 
without just pissing him off. And they can't. Well, you say that sounds pleasing, and then... Yeah. Hmm. I'm so glad you think so, your majesty. I'll be the talk of the kingdom and beyond. It'll be the talk of the kingdom, but yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you call a vote to discuss... Well, he also probably will be. You call a vote to discuss this outrageous mm -hmm. plan. A mountainside carved in your likeness will surely get people talking. But it'll take time and a lot of gold. Well, you can't um... veto it. So I would like to recommend go ahead with the project. It'll be a wonder of the world. Hell, let's add Queen Consort Frida to the design. Yeah, you'd like yep. that. You'd, you'd like, like that. It, and, uh... I would. I would. But it would also be a good boon for the kingdom as a whole. Also, you pissed us off royally, so let's face it, it would be nice if you did this. You just screwed us, our kingdom, over but with this fish thing without an alliance, so please... The nobles well, should fund take it. all of the money in the treasury? Yes! I'm gonna say this is an idea best left forgotten. Because it will increase the trade. Everyone wants their trade increased. And that's about all I can say. Unfortunately, all the other choices I don't like. But I know that you guys are gonna vote against me. What can I do? It's your head. Hmm. Actually, thing to go ahead with the project, but not adding the consort. I think that's too much taxation on the kingdom. Oh no. Oh, is the vote split too much though? It is. Interesting. Honestly, this is for the good of the kingdom. It will lower the defiance of uh, our, our people. Crap. Everyone will like it. It's all for the better. Yeah, unless it completely tanks all the funds of the kingdom. Uh, then we all lose. Well, nothing to be done. Person who didn't vote, but it uh, does matter. Not having a veto there hurts. <sighs> Many of the chiefs are delighted about the idea of showing off their queen consort in this way. I know which chiefs. Uh, your wife comes to see you straight after the project is announced. The gods are good! This is an excellent idea! The perfect gift for the queen consort who has everything. Oh, it'll be a landmark. The symbol of a timeless marriage. Um, I never took you for such a romantic chief actor. I'm merely cheap at Bleakstone to reveal the raw passion within, you know. Planning starts in earnest. A mountainside is covered in scaffolding. You wait eagerly for news of the project completion. But the work is plagued by setbacks. The stone is harder to carve than anticipated. Storms knock down the scaffolds. A rock slide erases much of the work that has been done. Your Majesty, I have to admit that I might have bitten off more than I could chew. This is a disaster. It can't be turned around, I swear to the ninth! As the weeks roll past, it becomes clear that the chief architect's grand ideas will take a lot longer to come to fruition. Oh Can boy, it might refund? cost more money. Uh <clears throat> Uh, Andy, my heart, I have a proposition for you. Yes, I'm listening to you, Spoonie. I'm heading to a split tournament in a few months. It's one of the foremost in all the kingdom. Want to join me? Um. So I'm assuming since it's talking about gambling, it's a gambling tournament. That or it could just good. be straight money. Could just be straight money in Greece for you. Besides, you want your wife on your side, don't you? I do. Fine. Thank Morgana. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, honey. I'm gonna go to you. Your turn. I just wanted to rule a kingdom. Back in the north, can... Chief Chuckles the Jester is hosting yet another feast at their clan hall. Meat is being passed around in good measure, and some chiefs are dancing on the tables. That can mean only two things. 
Really good news or really bad news? Raw metal, pass me the drink, you old lout. I'm drinking till my ancestors feel it. Were those ice giants I saw on my way through your lands? Have we really done it? Your eyes don't deceive you. They'll be marching with us come tomorrow. And by Grahala's beard, they, they come out in force. We must have really impressed them with our reports of the kingdom's bounty. The gods are good, but what happens after the ice giants march? Ask my ancestors, I hadn't thought about that. Someone fetch me another drink, then assemble the other chiefs. Quickly, damn you. They hadn't thought about this? You know, I had to vote on another goal. That's so funny. Lower authority. Authority is the easier one to lower. You guys are, are pretty split. Uh, Lower authority. Yeah, I think I think uh, Spoonie will be able to decide this. Oh. No, it just went, it just went to a tie. But yeah, you got lucky. It did in fact go to lower authority. Devious, brilliantly so. Why, it's almost dishonorable. Don't get too excited. The monarch must be weak to mount a response. If all the regions are united, the giants can be thrown back into the north with ease. Oh, gosh, can't someone enjoy the drink without being warned about consequences or plans for five minutes? For the final stage of this scheme, the chiefs must lower authority to two or less. Uh. Doable. Sitting on a bench outside a sun-bleached villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. Ha! Ah, 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 I just escaped from the fishmen! They finally <laughs> let me free! To, uh, <laughs> do what I owe this pleasure, Madam Treasurer? Oh, give it a rest. You know why I'm here. Let's just hurry this up, shall we? Where do I sign? Here, and here, and here. And also, can I have some water? Thank you. <laughs> of course. Goodbye, Madam Treasurer. You my eyes deceive me? Was it the royal treasurer you were speaking with? Indeed, my friend. Good news. With the monarch's gold running out, almost entirely, the treasurer was willing to sell off the kingdom's roads and bridges. This kingdom will be ours! But what will we do when we own everything? Ah. Okay, so I have to vote in your third one. Turn the monarch into our proud corporate mascot. Interesting. We'll soon have the monarch dancing to our tune. We just need to make sure the kingdom's in a nice, comfortable rut. For the final stage of the scheme, the patricians must raise stability to at least 10. How do you raise wow. it to at least 10? It's 10. Yeah. That's high. Mm. Okay. Um... Okay. Royal Gamble seems interesting. Swing Vote seems interesting. Golden Choice seems interesting. Swing Votes would have saved us from of... the mon from the uh the mountain decision. Yeah. Royal Gamble um kind of encourages us not to like tank the entire kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest here. We don't want the kingdom to actually go bankrupt. Yeah. We'd be fine with that. That gives you a little bit of leverage over us. A little bit for one time. Um, for as much time as we think that we need the. No one else is actually trying to go against the treasury right now. No one's goal actually aligns with treasury. It's stability and authority. Now. Now, true. Mine, mine could change, but it's in direct opposition to yours, so. Well, let's try it. Let's try to adopt Royal Gamble instead of the. 
You need to get rid okay, of something. Yeah. I need to. Yeah. I need to click here. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do. I I would actually switch all of them to the new options. Hmm. But whatever. Yeah. Bankruptcy looms, but no. Let's go to the tournament. Frida leads you inside Chief's, Chief Reckon's clan hall, where tables have already been laden with food and mead. So good to see you, your greatness. When Frida told me you were coming, I almost didn't believe her. Frida's first opponent will be Lord Patricia Jackson, Jin, by the way. Uh, where do I sit? Right over here, your highness. Recon leads you to some benches near the edge of the room, where a number of other spectators are already sitting. Refreshments and snacks are handed around freely. I'm rooting for Lord Patrician Jackson Jin. He hasn't lost a game since 94-8. Well, now you lost a game. Sorry. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Got him. Oh, by all the glitters, your serene highness, I didn't expect to see you here. Uh, I'd like to learn more about the game. Why not? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm sorry you didn't get an invite sooner. We have to be a little careful, you know. The Church of the Ninth can be a little, uh, timid when it comes to gambling. And of course, those fishmen have been infiltrating everywhere, you know. They stole me away for quite a while. Many spends the next few minutes explaining the basics of competitive split to you. Most of it goes over your head. Until he's interrupted. The gods are good! Take that, you bastard! No! Depths below, what's wrong with these damn cards? Oh, three, oh, that's you. Wow, three to one? I wish they would align the text to the right when the person on the right is speaking. Yeah. Well, that was unexpected, but there's no way she beats Grandee Knight in the next round. Uh, I believe in her. Oh, do you? Careful Nobody way, says Jiren. this. My yeah. gold against yours. I hear a voice in my head. Mm. Sorry, but I don't think I can afford it. Not willing to put your money where your mouth is. It's all right. Slash first opponents. Uh, Span uh, your Majesty underscore. I understand that you're loyal to your wife. Come what may. Wow. Not Lo question many. Are you uh, alright? Uh, 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 uh. What did the smoke come out of your ears? Error. <laughs> Error. I am not a robot programmed by the fish faces. It looks like it's starting right away. You don't think you can beat me, do you? We'll see soon enough. Oh, no one beats no me chance. at the children's no card chance. game. Uh... Oh, Challenge wait. succeeded! What a shit. Wow. The game goes by in a blur. Grandy Knight is aggressive, but Frida is ready for it. It's a matter of minutes before Knight has conceded defeat. The gods are good! Steps below, that was impressive. Now the Queen Consort will have to defeat Reckon himself. Everyone thinks that he uses his host privileges to cheat, getting his servants to stack the deck or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna look for him. Frida notices you leaving and looks concerned, but you have an idea. You manage to corner Recon as he's getting ready for the game. To what do I owe the pleasure, your majesty? Nice establishment you have here. God bless you, your greatness. I do try to put on a good show for my guests. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Hmm? Reckon's eyes narrow. I think I understand. What is it you want from me? Uh, can't I just tell him to do it normally? No? Hey, look at the treasury and wealth. You actually gain money if you hold down some money to keep it all clean. I mean, yeah, but yeah. I just wanted I just wanted a nice normal match for my wife. What what's uh, what's the fucking problem with that? No. You're not getting Fine. that now. Take it and leave me alone, will you? I need to prepare for my match. You find your way back to the stands. You doubt that you've managed to improve Frida's odds, but at least you got some tribute out of Chief Recon. 
I wanted to improve hers. You didn't give me that option, game. Are you ready to lose, your highness? Lose? Why, you little up off the floor with you. The game gets off to a rip-roaring start. You have to fight the urge to bite your nails. 20% chance. Ooh, and then... All of a sudden, it's over as Recon calls out about bluff on the part of your wife. And he's right. Trita has nothing and crumbles quickly under Recon's pressure. Nay, I was so close. Better luck next time, my good friend. A shame the monarch had to come all this way to see you lose, isn't it? Wow. As Recon is surrounded by nobles and showered in praise, Frida quickly disentangles herself to come and see you. Smug bastard, I can't believe he called that. Who calls that? On your way back to the capital, your wife teaches you more about the fundamentals of competitive split. She might not have won the tournament, but the two of you have nonetheless become closer through a shared hobby. Oh well. Cool. I can't believe I still don't have the option to get the fucking hair. I haven't... I haven't even started on my on my goals. Anything closer? That treasury is almost empty, your highness. What do you suggest we do? Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You could get a bank loan or sell off the crown jewels. Or perhaps crack open some of your predecessors' tombs. Most were buried with piles of gold. Or so I've heard. Pooh. 10,000 gold coins, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You own the royal oh, mint, yeah. don't I make more Oh, we know how coins. that works. We know how that works. <laughs> oh, I know exactly how that works. Uh... And you gotta pick something. I gotta pick something. Let's see... Bim, bim. I'm gonna go with this one. Sell off some of the royal jewelry to wealthy nobles. I mean, it's my jewelry. I can do with it what I want. You auction off dozens of necklaces, five gold rings, and five to golden the rings. It is a humiliating affair. Selling off symbols of power makes you look weak and desperate. Oh, look at this tiara. Fetching, isn't it? Don't mind if I do. Hey, check out the scepter. It's like I'm the monarch. <laughs> oh no, now he has a scepter. <laughs> you gave Chuckles a scepter. Wonderful. Uh, did anyone play the most? Nah, that yeah. was just you. <laughs> okay. Ah, honored monarch. I wanted to meet with you about the recent lack of payments, but you've since solved your money troubles. Am I to understand that we are continuing in your service? Yep. A pleasure doing business with you, as always. Interesting, they do ask for payment. That's cool. It's also interesting that I was able to... I, I see, I figured that this was going to mm -hmm. happen. So it's interesting that I managed to avoid this disaster. Alright, let's end this season. Why did, uh. do they not give me an option... To, to I, think it's, That's I think bullshit. it's just that we've been moving that fast. I don't know. I mean, sure, but you had your turns. Well, there there you are. Turns. There you go. Yeah. But uh, first, a new baby. Yeah. Greetings, your highness. Some fine news from my peasants in the south. A baby has been born on your birthday, bearing the birthmark in the shape of the number nine. A fantastic omen. Perhaps we should mark the occasion? Uh... Hmm. Send your blessings. Send the Inquisition. Uh, look, I would love to say, oh yeah, send the wine and the jewels and raise stability to 10 and yet, no. We know that's never going to pass. So I'm fine right. with sending the blessings. You want to make that a royal gamble? Um, hmm. Hmm. Why not? All right. Oh, 
Okay. We're still waiting on five votes right now. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, I think it's clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bless you, your highness, that's too kind. There is uh, uh, another matter. They asked permission to name the baby after you. What do you think, your majesty? Uh, <laughs> no. no, I'm the only Andy around here. <laughs> oh, uh, yikes. The choices in this game, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the more Andy's, the better. Praise the uh, knight. Sorry, I skipped. Yeah. That's fine. It... Away. A child of the south named for you. Who knows what sort of person this baby will become? A doppelganger, maybe? Mm hmm. <laughs> You can only hope you're wrong to see it, but probably <laughs> <you're> not. <laughs> A fish double game. Alright, let's see. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should that I, I ask that my crown be passed down to... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. My son, my daughter, my child, whatever. The assembled nobles break into polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Uh-huh. Or oh, by one. Mm. Your serene highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your child. What is their name? Wow, you're sort of a weird person. Excellent, your august majesty. I'm sure little Andy the second will grow up to be a chip off the old block. <laughs> Congratulations on fighting an heir. Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the Spy Master soon, unless you depose in this turn. After a particularly long session at Council, Frida comes to find you in your chambers. Why, the Star Flare? How do you deal with all that talking? When will they do something decisive? I know exactly what you mean. I was thinking, what if we did something to make things better? Don't... don't offer invite ice chains. I want to teach okay. the peasants to read. Imagine what the kingdom would be like with schools for ordinary people. The other chase, the other chiefs say common folk can't learn, but right now they I, don't get the chance. I don't have 50 gold for the schools. Damn it. But yes. Oh, we can't afford more. We'll squeeze out as much as we can, won't we? Yes. Mwah. She kisses your chick before hurrying out to enact her plans. Well, that was the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> more prisons. Everyone! Everyone! More prison. Library! Everyone, library! Everyone! Prison. Everyone! Theater! Theater? Theater. Why? Library! Theater? Who's theater? Oh, oh, for you oh. guys. Mm. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Interesting. We can't let them win that either. The Patricians have so much money right now. Can we just have a deer park? No. Absolutely no deer park. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I just wanted to have some deer. You know what? Uh, oh, this is so my tight. Grandees, would you like to try going to the Thieves Guild instead for the second place? Whichever of ours it is. Theater. Prison. Okay. Start the bidding. Theater's not gonna win, but I'm gonna make it cost you. Mm-hmm. Might as well push for it. Hey, Knight, you got the funds. Chaos, you got the funds. Let's go. All right, boys. 
Boys of the boys of the patricians, we will be needing our second place to go to the to the thieves guild instead, just so that the theater doesn't win. Skyrim is for the, the Nords. If we if you put money into the prison, we can counteract the uh, what the library does. No, that section is some interesting. Thieves guild. Below. Kingdom weird, I need you boys. Go in. Night, night, we need you on the prison. Damn it! Ah! Yeah. If I had an option to extend the, the auction, I would have. Unfortunately, I have ah. here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, GG. Let's see let's see it. Nah. There it is. Ah, corporate and overlords. I think, yeah, I think that's it for me. Yep. I had absolutely no way to win this game. It happens, happens gradually, gradually, like a it... frog slowly boiled, if I may. Yes, please. At first, it's paying a few patrician tolls here or there to cross a road to sail down a river. But as their cash reserves grow, so do, so do their acquisitions. The trouble really starts when they ban anyone else from trading on their road. Soon enough, they practically own everything. I was so close. It was so close. Here's a copy of tomorrow's speech, your supreme I lost Majesty. by a hundred gold pieces. Don't forget to read out that part at the end. This speech was proudly sponsored by Coastbreck, the creamiest cereal in the kingdom. I can't. Coastbreck? Oh, no. I this can't even watch this. On people's homes. We can't build our factories in the countryside, can we? Where would we get the workforce? And after you've mentioned the sponsorship, don't forget to add that you can't get enough of that creamy custard crunch. That's very important. I can't even watch this. Ugh. Can't get enough of that crunchy custard cream. No, 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 you're getting it all wrong. It's creamy Coastal Crunch. If you can't get the hang of it, we'll delay the speech and book you in for a week of rehearsals. Oh, and one more thing. We're canceling council meetings from now on. But what about the Constitution? The Constitution's just paper. It's good for hanging next to toilets, and that's about it. The council's completely redundant. All the decisions need approval from the Board of Investors anyway. Might as well let the board make the decisions from now on. Board of Investors? Who are they? People who bought a stake in the kingdom, obviously. Didn't you know? They've been running things for a while now. Don't worry. Your job's not under threat. The palace attracts a lot of tourism. But the council's got to go. Let me guess. The board is mostly patricians, right? And fish people. Yes, it is. You're right. We need to diversify. Maybe we could let in a grandee or two. Couldn't hurt. They'll just be outvoted anyway. Ron council decisions passed another group without telling me? The board took a vote, and we all decided it was the right thing to do. The people won't stand for this. The people are hard at work in factories making coast brick and other fantastic products. They're too busy to worry about who's running the kingdom. The other regions must have something to say about this. The grandees did try to besiege the capital. But the south is pretty much bankrupt since all the industry started moving to the coast. When the soldiers arrived, we simply hired them. Right now, they're still working in the salt mines to pay off the debts they built up while marching on our road. Ice giants will crush all of you! So, is uh, there anyone fighting against you? No, not really. We are, what's the phrase, too big to fail. Anyways, I must stop yapping. I've got a board meeting. I'll leave you to practice your speech. Some that creamy coastal crunch! Ragnarok! Once <laughs> Manny has departed, <laughs> you take a longing look out the window. The capital skyline has been devoured by smoke from the new factories. With a sigh, you begin practicing your speech. Ragnarok! <laughs> oh, I didn't get burned at the stake. No, but the rest you of Monarch Andy's reign 
They were a powerless mascot for the Patrician Cereal Company. They eventually met their end by drowning in a vat of milk during a promotion. Yeah, okay. Wow. The Chiefs' agreement with the Ice Giants fell apart, and the Giants ended up attacking the North instead. The subsequent war kept the Chiefs too busy to worry about matters of the throne. All that remained of the Grandees' attempt to usurp the crown was a prisoner, deep under the castle, clad in an iron mask and hey, shrouded in Who in chat in called Iron Mask? Someone in chat called Iron Mask. That's so funny. The Patricians owned everything. Corporations ruled and the kingdom was blanketed in mills, factories, mines. But when the old mascot monarch died and King Ulysses was crowned, the other nobles emerged from the shadows, sniffing a chance to claw back their power. Ugh. Well. Dee oh. <laughs> Ah. The salt uh, is real. Good. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go bullshit. I literally had no chance. I didn't it's... even get started on my fucking quest. Uh, sorry. You, you, you got, died. You so got to the point where you had an heir, and that is further than I've seen some monarchs make it. Thank you, Spoon yeah, A One experience. Thank you very much. That's, that's kind of. That's kind of. Kind of bullshit. Like, uh, my goal is maybe shorter, but it's not shorter by that much. Yeah. It, it, I think it, my it reign lasted tight. longer, but uh, not much. Yeah, your, your, your reign did last oh, longer. Oh, yeah. yeah. By, I think, two seasons. absurdly close game at the end there. Yeah, it was. No, yeah, it, coming, it, wasn't, it came it down to the auction. It, it, it came down to the auction. That's incredible. What? I guess this means I'm king next round, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good game, all. Fantastic yeah. job, patricians. I would like to also recommend we don't have patricians in the next game, just because... Yeah, yeah I think... The... <laughs> yes, that's a, good, uh, that's a good idea. That stole my soul with the trade there. I tried to play that up as evil as I could, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm. You want to have it? You want to have it like that? The um, uh, whatever faction wins isn't in the next. Uh, isn't in the next round. Yeah, whatever. Sounds fine by me. Cool. Poor Thank you for a oh. wonderful game. Folks. Thank you. Somehow, somehow, despite you owing everything, you had zero gold. Yeah, I spent yeah. all of it. <laughs> yeah, personal. Yeah. Because the whole game came down to it. I mean, that was the whole. I mean. The auction decided the whole thing. That yeah. was absurd, I gotta admit. It all came down to a friggin' last second auction with less okay. than a hundred gold difference at the end. Mm-hmm. So wealth wealth is power as far as and late late game goals are concerned. That's fascinating. Well, I'm gonna wrap up the live stream. Thanks everyone for coming and thanks everyone for watching and uh and for voting of course uh could have done it without you we came close people we came as close as i've i could i could smell it i could smell the throne and it smelled like butt oh look at this though that's interesting so the events oh. that didn't finish uh they can continue in the next game oh yes you'll it's now saved as your realm and the next time we play it on that that would be how it works yeah, but probably we won't be able to remove the patricians in that case. Yeah, it's the yeah. same houses as before. It's It keeps yeah. the same houses. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah, interesting. 